Okay, so let's talk about how do you train syllable parsing or how to count while hypnotized. So in this video, we're gonna go into the actual technique of what you'll be doing for the rest of this module. So to review, speech isn't a sequence of words, it's a sequence of syllables. And to understand fast Spanish, you need to reshape your listening frame to fit these syllables. Finally, syllable parsing is the most foundational listening ability because all the other abilities you'll learn in this course stack on top of that, okay? So to learn syllable parsing, there are basically two techniques we're gonna use. And these are essentially the same techniques we use for all the other parts of the course, filtering and imprinting. Let's talk about each. Filtering, now speech is very complex. You have lots of pieces of data. You have the melody, you have the meaning of the words, the context, the rhythm, the stress, the elemental sounds. So lots of things are going on at once and it's, it's just too much for you to process, process, especially at the natural fast speed that Spanish speakers talk. So to make it digestible, what you do is you choose one piece and you filter it out and then focus on it. So filtered listening is the process of choosing one dimension, one aspect of the Spanish speech and then focusing on it enough to really make it intuitive and grounded in you. So the way we do that for syllable parsing is through the process of syllable counting. Syllable counting is listening to a phrase, you disregard the melody, the meaning, the words, all that stuff, and you focus just on this one question. How many syllables am I hearing? And when you do that, you listen, like, okay, it's first three, and then there's another four, there's another three, okay, this phrase has nine syllables. So that active searching for the number of syllables allows you to filter out just that dimension of syllable parsing, syllable processing, okay? So let's go back to the example we had before. I say to you, what's going on tonight? Or I say, what's going on tonight? In your imagination, you hear what's going on tonight. But what I really say is, what's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? That's the real syllables versus the imagined words. Now what's gonna happen for those of you who've already trained Spanish in the normal mode of reading and writing is you'll already have lots of words framed in your head, lots of shapes that are kind of rigid and in there. And what happens is when you recognize a word, instead of actually listening to the native speech, the real actual audio, you'll replace it in your imagination and you'll imagine the syllables. So for example, if our English speaker from before came here and he heard me say, what's going on tonight, but he actually recognized what's going on tonight and then I asked him, count the number of syllables. Instead of listening to my audio of what's going on tonight, what he'll do is he'll take that and read it in his mind and count those syllables. But oh yeah, what's going on tonight, six. And that's not the case, right? So let's go once again. We're getting into this idea of what perception is. Perception is where external reality meets your internal expectations. That's the world you live in. That's what you are actually seeing, listening, hearing. So that's why we have our second technique of imprinting. So imprinting is about taking that original school on tonight which you weren't hearing originally. You were replacing it with your own imagine what's going on tonight. And it's a really strong frame. I wanna emphasize that if you've already been studying Spanish, your pre-frames for words are going to be very strong and it's gonna take a lot of work to undo them. And that's why we do a process called hypnotic repetition. So when you do this training in this module, we'll be repeating the audio automatically over and over. And it kind of puts you into this hypnotic trance where you're kind of like, what's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? And what it does is it hammers in that natural audio over and over again until your imagination starts to drop away and you can finally just become connected to what's actually going on in the speech. And then you count one, two, three, four, what's going on tonight, right? So I want you to be prepared to be wrong. Because what happens is, especially people who've been studying for a long time, I'll come and I'll show them, how many syllables is this? Or what's going on here? And say, oh, I know that one, easy, it's this. And I say, no, it's not. And they say, yes it is, I can hear it. We're not used to this idea that perhaps what you perceive is not actually 
the reality of what you're looking at. And that can be a bit kind of jarring for people at first, but it's also quite interesting when you have that first realization of, I swore I heard this, but now after it's been imprinted into my mind, now I'm hearing something different. And when that happens, you know you've learned. That is the process of learning. When you can hammer and smack away and chisel away your presuppositions, the things you used to believe, the things you used to hear and think and see, and then imprint it with a new one that's more reflective of reality, okay? But I'm really emphasizing this be prepared to be wrong because people have a weird reaction to find out that, like, it's, it's like being a magic trick. Like, wait, I thought I saw this and I didn't. Uh, so it's quite fun, but you have to be in the right mindset and ready to let it happen. So once again, don't get too cocky. Take the time to let the sound imprint before you answer the questions on this module practice sessions. So to review, the tools for training the core ability of syllable parsing are filtering and imprinting. And you can filter out the syllables from the rest of speech signal by actively counting them. It's like getting your magnifying glass and focusing on one dimension and filtering out the rest. Then, if you recognize words that you've learned elsewhere, there's a high chance that you'll count the syllables in your imagination. So instead of focusing on what you're actually hearing, you'll kind of block that out and go into what you already know. Don't do that. I want you to really train yourself to focus in, tune in on the signal of the audio, and if you do that, you'll succeed. But to the degree to which you don't do that, you might find that you'll be wrong. So if you get a wrong answer on these things, don't let it dissuade you. Just listen again over and over again and see if you can hear the answer that we're giving you. And then when you look for that, you'll say, ah, now I hear it. And once again, that experience of being wrong and then looking at where you're wrong, focusing, and then realizing how you're wrong, that is the definition of learning. And that's why this is not just like any other learning course where you memorize vocab words and forget them next week. This is fundamentally shifting the way your thinking and perception and brain works forever. So when you go back off into the Spanish world, you'll notice that things will sound different. They'll sound a bit more clear after you finish the training in this module. All right, and we use hypnotic repetition to imprint the real Spanish audio in your brain to actively reshape your listening frame. That's what we're doing here. So take it seriously and really let that audio sink in. It's a very intense process. And I'm really emphasizing this because it's a bit of an intense process to have the Spanish thing on loop over and over again, but trust the system. Do it, do a couple of sessions, go listen to some Spanish audio, and you'll actually notice results very quickly. All right, so in the next video, we'll get into the actual detail about how to do it. Then you can get your hands dirty and start getting into that hypnosis.